put this thing straight. You place your thread here. Then you just decide to take it here. Okay, don't allow it to enter 50. You just decide to pick your thread from there. I mean, in one minute time frame. That you take a decision to discipline yourself that anytime these two lines steps to 50, um, step to 10, 20, that you will take three candles after that. Then, for you to be sure if this works, back text. Back text and see if anytime you see the complete crossing of that stuff. Just check whether you were yeah, if there was a successful three candles or five candles taken. Just check it. As simple as life can be, as simple as it can be, just watch it. I'm not I'm not saying this to impress you. I'm saying it so that you can try. Just watch it. Just watch it. Just watch. We are just back testing. Just watch. Just watch. I will explain something to you now. Just watch. Even when two of them didn't come together at the same time, but when it finally crossed the the, the green line, when it finally crossed at this place, let's leave this one here now. When it finally crossed at this place, at the end of the day, you have like four to five candles before the market closes. So what is there? What is there? What is there? I know your fear. Look at it. I mean, one minute can do the magic. One minute. Then when you want to stay long, when you want to enjoy the market, when you want to swim into the market and stay for a long time, then visit your higher time frame. Just watch it. There is one thing that you should never forget. And if you made a mistake to do that, okay, let me just give you three things. If you made a mistake and you didn't see those things, you would definitely shed tears. One, the zoom level that you are using will play a long and a mighty role in the performance of this very strategy. This Just use this one minute, thank me later. If you have $10, $20, $50, you can flip it to any amount. You know, I have multiple accounts. I have the one of $400, $1,000 and all those things. Just that any one I like, I will just use it. The one I have on my laptops are not the one I have on my phones. So all of them are verified. Look at this thing. So the zoom level... If you want to use this strategy and be sure, this is one thing you should know. The zoom level is playing a big role. For you to be in a safer hand, watch this. Zoom out completely like this. Let it be on the smallest zoom size. So it depends on the one you know and the, I don't know how you see it. But let the zoom level be on the minimal, on the smallest size. Then how do you know? See? Let me show you this thing. One reason you should use the smallest zoom level is that if I put this thing down now, if I zoom up now, this thing here, this very thing here now will come up to this place. It will come up to this place. This one. This one here. So if you are not conversant with the operations of the zoom levels, it will confuse you and you may enter the market when the market is here or because of the zoom you'll find it here so what the market will be responding is the movement of here which means it has started reversing why you entered for it to go up let me let me say it again the dangers of not having the experience or knowing the functions of zoom level is that if you zoom up, like you use zoom tray, let's assume you use zoom tray now, then the zoom tray of this will bring, if I zoom up now, this thing you are seeing here now, 
this very crossing here will come up to this place. I will zoom in so that you will see it. Then if this happened now, when this one now will be somewhere here, then, but it has started reversing and these are the response to the oversold, uh, overbought levels. Now get that. So when you have entered here, when you have entered here, when you have entered here to do your scalping, to take your candles according to the instructions given by me, that each time is crossing, that you should enter to take your buy. Then not knowing that you just zoom and what's supposed to be in the lower level like this is now in this place. Are you getting it now? So what that means is that as you're expecting this thing to give you, to go to this arrow level and give you profit, the market will start to spike down. And once that happens, you don't have any other choice. Then you will say, okay, let me leave it for some time. It's going to come up. More spike will continue to drop. The reason is because you did not use the right zoom level. So let that sink into your mind. For you to trade this, have this, have this in mind that you must zoom out completely. What are you zooming out for? For you to see the accurate position of the current movement of the lines and the indicators. I mean, the moving averages. Now, let me show you this. Look at this. I seen it. Have you seen it now? Look at it. So, you can use this to trade, but get this get this foundation first. This thing we are somewhere here. I seen it. Now it's here. So, if you don't know that from the current movement of the market that this thing didn't rest here which means that anything can happen, it will not take long for spike to come because it will not be long for it to reach to 80 to 90. Then you step into this place and start skyping, expecting 60 candles only for the market to pull back and let her cross where you entered. So the best thing for you to do is zoom out completely. Then as you zoom out completely, what are you expecting? Expect to see the features of the market. Then one, then two, if you have seen this, if you have seen this like this, then you can now zoom up like this. If you zoom up like this, like zoom two, then you take at the crossing of these things, you take three candles because it's even in a better position. Because you have seen that the market is trying to go up. So in one minute's time frame, you have the opportunity to take like five to three, four candles in one minute's time frame. That is okay for you. But if you want to enjoy the market to the fullest, when you zoom out, this one here is the right market to trade. I see it. So these ones have not crossed. Let me show you. Look at it. Are you see what I'm saying now? Presently now the market is here. This one now is that one that you are seeing at the middle of this 10 to 20. This one here. So this is why the thing is complicating. So if you don't follow the instructions and follow the market complete, that is why I keep saying it. If you don't have the knowledge about forex trading, it's just like seeing everybody driving, one day you just decide to enter into car and uh, on the ignition and try to drive. So that is the dangers of jumping into the forest without the knowledge. So you see many people driving, but few are the ones that have the right knowledge for driving then some don't even know how to drive but they see many people driving so that is what that is what you can see once you have your passport once you have your uh, id and everything you can log into the river or those things you open trade you deposit they will accept your money you start trading you make profit you make losses that doesn't make you a forest trader there are people who have burned their energy and their time to get to where they are today. So having a contact with them or going a little closer to them, showing appreciation because you can't pay them for the knowledge they are about to release to you. So showing appreciation to them will open you up to the realities of forest world. Alright, so once you see this now, you step in, Pia. 
So if this happened like this, and as it has crossed to this place now, believe me, no matter the spike you are seeing here now, you have more opportunities because if finally it crossed to this place and break out from this from these resistance levels, you will see multiple candles going up. That is how the market works. So let me prove my point and show you what I am saying. Let's go back a little bit. How do you know that this candle, this movement will not fail you? One, hold your screen like this. Hold your screen at the center. If you hold your screen at the center, shift it. If you shift it, it will not be moving from where it is if the line is below 10 here. If the line is below 10 here, it will not go up and come to this place or go up to this place. It will remain there. If it has remained there, it's a sign that the market is about to reverse. So why do I use one minute time frame? One minute is super. It's just a very sharp opportunity for you to enter and close your trade. Just you can do this up to 10 to 20 times in a day. You just jump in, take three candles. If your mind tells you that, don't hold more, close it, jump out. You watch the money. You can be taking one $1 per trade, two $2 per trade, depending on the long size. You can be entering two, two positions at the same time. And at the end of the day, you are closing with mighty profit. That is how market works. Let's go again. Let's go again. This is another one. I seen it here. It's another one. I seen it. You have, have seen two, three. I seen it four. Ah, uh, this one. I took a trade from here. Five, six, seven, eight. I seen it. Nine. I seen it. Ten. So it cannot. Let, let's just stop there and back testing. It cannot fail you, except you don't have the right knowledge. That is not how it will fail you. So aside this now, what other means can you use to place trade and be successful? Take Zoom 2. You can take Zoom 2. In that Zoom 2, you can be taking only but 5 candles or 3. At minimum 3, at maximum 4, 5, 10. Why? Because you may not, the Zoom level may not be at the right position. So before the market will respond to the movement of the market, you must have taken like three to four candles and you are out of the market. So anybody can do this. You too can do it. This is where I am. This is the market I took. Here is $130. I see in it $130. And this is the profit dropping. Remember that this is for spike. So, I don't know how people see this strategy, and I don't know, I don't know how they see it. It's hundred percent possible. Anybody can do it. When I said anybody, I mean anybody can do it. When I said anybody, look at it. The market is still dropping. So finally, let me warn you on this. I have said it, and I'll keep saying it. Until, until you watch, until you watch this thing step out from 10 and start going to 20, don't expect to cut um, to do your Skyping. Trading here that you succeeded in taking these three candles here is not, it's not even advisable. That you are trading at the middle of those things is not advisable. It's not it's not something that is encouraging at all. Don't even dare do that. Don't do it. I am warning you, don't do it. Let me show you the market in one hour time frame. Don't even dare, don't do it. Look at it. So if you are my follower very well, you should know that I have many reasons why I should place my trade here. One, I placed at the response of the breakout number one then number two i place at the response that the market has the account the candlestick i placed with the response that the market is on a reversal point 
number two, number three, I place as a result that it has not touched the 50 levels here. So these are my conditions. So it's pointing down. So placing it is, I, even, I have every reason. That is why some that knows me know that I don't trade with high loss size. So if I place with $1, at least for you to know that I am sure of what I have seen. So, and join my free, uh, my free new Telegram group. Join it. The description is, uh, the, the link to join is on the description below. So, if you join it in a few days from now, a few days from now, we have not started functioning in that place completely, but I am, some of my staffs are not actually back from their Christmas stuff. So, if they are back, we we'll start dropping few signals at least once in a day or once in two or three days time it's just free so stay there and if i have if i see a breakout i can also tell you to watch on that i think it can help so that some of my subscribers will be benefiting from for joining me so since we have many people who are following us so that we can you kind of contribution to say thank you i am not charging if anybody called you from that group and say that it is gdfx it's not me i did not ask anybody to pay me for the groups i've never asked anybody to pay me to join any group all right so it is only those in my mentorship class that will pay me it is only those that want to that want mentorship from me that i will charge and i will receive payment from them then aside them I've done charge for signals. I don't charge for signals. I don't charge for strategies. I've never asked anybody to pay me for me to give him private or VIP strategies. I don't do that. Thank you, my returning subscribers. Here is the indicators I am using. Thank you, my returning subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my new subscribers. Thank you, my viewers all over the world. I really appreciate your efforts. And I will not take your patronage for granted. So you too can do what I'm doing and even do it more better than I do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So take the indicators, uh, put certain parameters the way I did, and you will come up more successful than I do. You can do this. Don't give up on yourself. Don't just start driving. Learn to drive. It will be, it will save you. Some people are broke, not because they love to go poor, but they use the little they have for them to have more experience, only for them to come back shedding tears. So look at it. If you if you make a business that you are closing in a day with hundred dollars, at least you know that you'll be having enough money in your life. You can do any investment, all right? Maybe one day, oh no, that is too, that, that is Chadisha. So you too can do it. So if you're looking for mentorship, I will always be there to assist you. But remember that it cannot be free. It cost me and you have to pay the price so that you take things serious and you will know that it costs you so that you know the value for knowledge. All right, GDFS signing out. Certain. Forex trading is helpful. One thing is sure, and that is certain. Forex trading is sure, and forex trading is real. If you have been struggling to make profits, this video will help you to clear your doubt and you place your profit. I mean, you place your trade and make profits at least for the first time without doubting yourself now after dropping the last video i did um, a lot of comments and a lot of thing uh, i mean a lot came into my phone and they started requesting how can we trade this on our android version so i came up with this very strategy that will help you to place your trade at least if not for any other thing for the first time you will be placing your trade and successfully closing with profit all right now look at what i'm going to do now in this very video here and i'm going to be entering my trade but i'm going to, I'm going to show you something that may surprise you i'm going to show you something that 
may surprise you. Now, look at this. This is Crash. Um, crash 300. And this is um, one hour time frame. Let's check if what we have on one hour time frame is the same thing we'll have on one minute time frame. Can you see it now? Are you see what I'm saying? That in one minute time frame, the market is not smiling but in one hour time frame in one minute time frame the market is saying is showing overbought uh, uh the market is showing overbought why the why the one hour time frame is showing oversold which means it's trying to start buying again okay so now let's see how this strategy will work let's check crash 500 all right this is crash 500 the the one minute time frame is indicating uh, an arrangement for it to go up why on one hour time frame the market is showing that that is a chance for the market to go down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be taking my sell to I'm going to be placing my trade. I will be using 90. I'll be using 90 and I will be selling. All right. I'll be selling. I'll be placing two position. I will be selling which means I'm placing my trade for me to catch a spike. All right. Now listen as I wait for the market right here now, because why I enter this trade is for you to be able to understand what I'm about to explain to you in this video. So please pay attention so that you will not make some mistakes that may affect you. All right. Yes, I place a trade. Look at it. The chain is counting. It's presently on loss. All right. And I enter two positions. All right. So how does this strategy work? And what is this strategy all about? Good question. Now, we have a strategy that can help you to place a trade and make profit. Now, we have two moving averages on the main chart and those moving averages have the ability to give you the at least if not the confirmation you want but the momentum the confidence for you to place a trade at least place your trade and close with profit i'm going to be showing you proofs this is one hour time frame and after saying this you will be able to know why i place my trade on spike okay Watch here now. Watch here. When we have two moving averages, I'm going to show you this moving averages in my distance. Now we we'll have this uh, yellow or gold distance, and we we'll have this green line. Watch this place. Watch the main chart here. As this yellow moving average EMA make a move like this, this surpasses all resistance zone here presently here now presently here it crossed that resistance zone here it crossed it now as it has crossed it watch below here watch on our low uh on our window one the same yellow line and the green line made an agreement and crossed together if you follow it here, you notice that as both of them cross 20 levels, that was when this thing crossed, the two lines crossed over here. So as they cross over here, there is a resistance zone here and the market tried one, two here until this one came and broke out from the final resistance levels that took the market to this direction. So when are you going to enter your trade? Let's take this thing straight and let's understand it perfectly here. All right. 
all right let's take this follow this follow this line i'm drawing here now follow this look at i took it from the last resistance zone and watch here now watch so when are you to place your tread and when are you going to be comfortable to place your tread watch here watch here the journey that started here the journey that started in this place i want to show you so that once you see those things you'll be able to place your tread without being afraid of anything at all all right remember that the market is still on loss are you seeing it but i am not panicking because it's going to turn to my favor all right it's going to turn to my favor so i am not shaking all right so how are we going to do this from that very minute the market entered the ma that very minute the market crosses above this line here watch okay this is where i was talking so watch the the histogram the horizontal line watch it here so i bring another one I bring another one let me bring another one this time let me use this one and mark it here so that you see it clearly let me bring another one and mark it again here. <clears throat> Are you seeing what I'm showing you now? So as the market crosses, as the market crossed this line, as the market crossed this line, it took a journey from here to this place. So as the market crosses here, it have not crossed, it has not broken out from the resistance zone, but it never came down to the line again until it get to this point. That is one point I want you to understand here. That is one point I want you to understand. So immediately the market stepped into this place. It never came down. Immediately the market crosses this place. In spite of the resistance zone here, the market never came down and cross this place until it reaches to this place. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Are you seeing what I'm showing you? The journey has started. It has spiked. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing what I'm showing you? The journey has just started. So, it's just, it's, it's just a startup. It have not, nothing has happened. It's just, it just, it just a welcome. This thing is going to continue to spike for a long time do you see that do you get that now so when i'm talking to you when i am placing thread i am telling you what i know all right so when are you going to you in particular when are you going to be placing your own thread so that you will not make mistake one when you see the market the two lines in your lower time frame cross together your lower time frame i mean is your one minute time frame like what you are seeing here now don't be in a hurry to place your trade i just want to open your eyes for you to place your trade again be sure that the two lines have crossed these 10 levels and come across the 20 levels immediately it's coming out from the 20 levels please place your trade get that now please place your thread but until as it is inside this place don't enter don't enter don't enter don't place your thread for skyping don't place your thread for skyping i am placing this thread and i place this thread because of what i saw in the higher time frame that is the only condition and that is the only reason why i place my thread do you get that now so if you are looking for entry point if you are looking for entry point and exit point where is my ent entry point now i entered this thing i'm just trading this candle i entered this because one it have crossed to this place 
it have crossed this line let me mark it so that you see what i'm showing so that you see what i'm showing you it have entered into this place in your higher time frame and this one have crossed this place are you seeing it so before this thing will touch these 50 levels now i'm going to close so but on the main chart my target is here this one will say then if the market finally broke up from here and cross this one and cross this place finally that means it has changed completely to a down trend which means it is now a pure sky, uh, spike position which is bearish movement so at that point i can now relax and place my trade are uh, you get what i'm saying now at that point i can now enter and place my trade so this market is very simple this market is very very simple so once you see the two this thing so your time frame to use is your one hour time frame once you see that the market have stepped into this place once you see that there is a cross a total cross in your higher time frame once you see that it's a cross in your higher time frame then you check your lower time frame and see another cross that the cross are, and the, that the market have crossed below the 90 and 80 i mean for you to catch spike remember the opposite of it is when you want to do your skyping on your boom so as the market crosses like this then get ready to enter for spike get ready to enter for skyping depends so i use here as a case study so if the market crosses below these things it's an opportunity for you to enter it's an opportunity for you to enter so let's do a little back text and see how real this thing can be here it crosses here it crosses here and you have this before it came back again and finally keep going down i'm going to show you one thing that look at here again it crosses here and remember this one is skyping i'm showing you skyping now it crosses here and as it crossed here it never went down again but i'm going to show you this now watch here some of you will say it crossed here but it spike it never touched 10. remember the condition you must allow the market two of them to cross below 20 and touch 10. two of them must touch 10 and start going up at that time that is when you have met the condition anything aside that the condition I have not met have you seen what i'm showing you have you seen what i'm showing you i am nine dollars something richer now are you sure what i'm showing you now so for some of you who don't know what forest is all about would think that i am complicating matters what i'm showing you is what i know all right so you too can do the same thing you too can do the same thing so if you are using crash as the market steps up to this place if you are using crash as the market touches this place now look at what i'm showing you even in one minute time frame the market touch this place each of them touch this place and cross this line as it crosses this line it never it never give any opportunity for the market to come across it again till date so why i am stressing myself trying to on trying to make you understand this is that so that you will not say that i give you a strategy that immediately it entered into this place you should enter to do your skyping the market will spike against your wish and will frustrate you so that is why it is necessary for you to visit your higher time frame and get it somebody said that i talk too much so that i have i don't have to say everything in one video so let me do this now for you to for you to do your skype in here go to a one hour time frame if you go to your one hour time frame if you see this if you see your market ranging like this two of them ranging like this and crossing the 10 to 20 enter for skyping that is one simple distance how do you know that the one you are using is the right one how do you know that the one you're using is the right one when you minimize to the lowest when you minimize to the lowest shift your this thing like this it will not shift from there are you get what i'm saying now it will it will still be two of them will still remain below the this thing look at it here two of them will remain below the line look at it two of them will remain below the line so but which which 
of this thing can you use to be sure that nothing is going to happen to your account? Use um, final zoom level one, then use zoom two and zoom three. This is the right zoom you should use for you to be able to see small, small opportunities and be placing your trade. That is how simple the strategy can be. So just try this on your demo. Immediately you see anything like this, two of them like this crossing over, it's an opportunity. If you see it on five minutes time frame, it's an opportunity. If you see it on one minute time frame, it's an opportunity. But don't you ever, never you trade when it have not start coming out. Let me show you what I mean. What 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 I meant. Let me show you. Never you trade this. Never you trade this until it start coming out of this. I mean, until it start coming out. Let me show you until it start coming out like this. Never you trade if you dare enter when it have not done something like this. You will lose your money. Take it from me. That I said it. Are you seeing it? $21. Are you seeing it? $21. Look at it. Look at it. But when I entered, it was just, it was like $2, something of that nature. So for some of you who are doubting that I don't, I don't know. 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 So this is how the market can work. So you too can do the same thing. Anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. I mean, anybody can do it. So you have the opportunity to do it. Please do it. You have the opportunity to do it. Please you do it. My, I am standing by to watch how this market is going to be, but I have to cut the video so that it will not be too long. Look at the indicators I am using. I'll be dropping the video again on the on how to I mean to show you how you can use it perfectly to catch a spike. The parameters I'm using is moving average 14 exponential. Choose any color of your choice. That is what I am using. Parameters 14 and the exponential method apply to close. That is what I am using. Then the second moving average is 50 exponential apply to close the three pixel, which is for me to see the lines boldly. That is the work of the pixel. All right. Then the indicator window one I am using is stochastic oscillator. I'm using one, one, one close, close exponential two. Are you getting it? Another exponential. Then the levels I am using is this. The level I am using is this. Please set it like this. 90, 80, 20, 10, 50. Remember that this place is 1, 1, 1. Here, close, close. Here, exponential. Then this place, this place, use the background color. All right? So that is what I am using. Then the moving average is 50. The first one is 50 exponential. The same moving average you have on the main chart is what I'm using so that I'll be able to confirm the movement of the market. Then the last one, which is the last moving average, is 14. All right. So nothing is too hard in it. So anybody, when I mean anybody, anybody can do this thing. So if you are struggling on how to place trade and make profit, this strategy is for you. So feel free to comment. And if you're looking for a mentorship, a mentor that will mentor you to further you master all those things, I am free. And I also give you a bonus, all right, for the new year. So I will just give you a little bonus, which means that I will, I will not charge you as huge as maybe some others have paid. I will try to consider you if you come up within the period of time so that I will assist you so that you will be able to trade and make profit like others. Don't gaze for us. It will not help you. Some will use $300 to try to raise their account instead of you to pay somebody to teach you and start enjoying the profit. So that is one thing you should do. I am signing out. 
hoping to see you. Thank you, my returning subscribers, and thank you, my new subscribers. Thank you, my family. You are wonderful. Thank you.